fine students. Today we will learn about addition. Addition is the second chapter of standard 3. So the question is what is addition? Addition is putting together. Let me give you an example. Suppose if I give you 5 chocolates and your mom gives you 5 chocolates then how many chocolates do you have? You are having 10 chocolates. So what have we done? We just need to put it together. Today we will learn about the addition of 4 digit numbers. So let's start. First of all we will learn about addition without carrying. It means we don't need to carry from here till here. First thing or the most important thing that you need to keep it in your mind is always start addition from one place. Always remember never start it from this side. Always start it from one place. It means from your right hand side. So addition without carry. These are the numbers 3452. We need to add it with 2352. 46. So 6 plus 2 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9, 3 plus 4 is 7 and 2 plus 3 is 5. It means the answer is 5798. In this one we haven't carried anything. These two numbers, it means the numbers that we are adding, they are known as addend. And the result that we get after addition, that is known as sum. Now let us learn about addition with carry over. It means we have to carry. Let us take the example 2348 plus 2176. So here you can see when you add these two numbers 8 plus 6 that is 14. So we will write 4 here and 1 is carried to 10's place. Now 4 plus 7 plus 1 is 12. We will write 2 here and 1 is carried to 100's place. 3 plus 1 4 plus 1 it is 5. So we will write 5 here. Nothing is left. We don't need to carry anything. So 2 plus 2 is Four. So this one is addition with carry over. Now let us move on to estimation. We can add in different ways. Here we are estimating and then we need to find the sum. So estimation we already have, uh, we have already learnt about it in the previous class. Estimation means to round off. So the actual sum is 56 and we need to add it with 42. So 56 nearest tens is 60. 42 nearest tens is 40. The sum of these two numbers is 98 and the sum of these two numbers is 100. But even if we add this and then we want to estimate then also the answer is 100. There are different things or different points that you need to keep it in your mind that is order property. So what is order property? Even if we change the order of the numbers like even if you add 56 plus 42 or 42 plus 56 the answer is always same. So that is order property. Next one is grouping property. Suppose if I give you the numbers like 2 plus 3 plus 2. So here you need to add this number. Now let us put these two numbers in one group. So 3 plus 2 it is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Again even if we change the group of this number. If we change the group of this number. Here if we or we uh, change the group like this. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Let us take another example like 10 plus 20 plus 30. Now first of all, if we take these two numbers, 10 plus 2 is 20 is 30, then if we add 30 to it, we will get 60. Or if we take these two numbers first, 20 plus 
plus 30, it is 50, 50 plus 10, 60. It means that even if we change the group of the numbers, then also we will get the same answer. Then also the sum is equal. I hope uh, you have understood these two topics and you will be able to solve any question based on this chapter. Stay safe and be happy. Thank you.